I save myself and I replace myself with Queen. I knew it. Now, as if Sunday's live eviction wasn't enough shocker for the housemates, Big Brother decided to give them another crazy twist with the live nominations tonight, guys. It was wild. Yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And on this video, I will be spilling details of the live nomination show as well as the Head of House Challenge. Guys, Big Brother came with a different twist entirely. The housemates did not see it coming. I mean, it seems as though every new week, there seems to be something crazy that Big Brother cooks up for the shine your eye housemate but you definitely need to watch to the end of this video to find out all the details of what went down regarding those two events before i continue as usual i will urge you all to please turn on post notifications on my channel that is one of the best ways that you'll be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one i upload videos multiple times daily giving you factual events factual accurate detailed analysis of the event as it unfolds in real time in the current big brother ninja shine your eye mansion that's it guys let's quickly get into the video enough of all <laughs> the introductions so normally for every season of big brother ninja the arrangement or the order for every monday is head of house challenge first and then live nomination show so guys they are both intertwined because from the head of house challenge um, one person will at least have immunity from the live nomination that would happen afterwards, right? And then that same person would sometimes have the veto power to save and replace a fellow housemate, right? But guys, tonight was quite different because Big Brother did not give the housemate the leeway to have that opportunity to have immunity beforehand, before the live nomination showed. And so guys, unexpectedly, even to us, the viewers as well, Big Brother summoned the housemate into the diary room one after the other to give their nominations for the week. Now I'm just gonna read out how the housemates nominated according to how they went into the diary room. So Angel nominated Emmanuel and Saga. Emmanuel nominated Yusuf and Jackie B. Um, Cross nominated Saga and Licoros. Parrot nominated Angel and White Money. Guys, can we just pause for a second? Forget all this super super English that we are speaking. Why is Parrot so obsessed with White Money? <laughs> like, guys, why? <laughs> you know, I watched Parrot nominate White Money. I'm like, dude. Okay, oh, I wish this guy understands that white money is not the only threat he has in the house. I mean, Licorice is also a major threat, but then hey, even if obviously Licorice is another threat, well, he can't see it really because it's not out here with us seeing how the game unfolds, right? But guys, for real, Pera is really obsessed with white money. It's official. Anyways, as I was saying, Queen nominated Sasuke and Pere. Saga nominated Jackie B and J. Paul. Liko Rose nominated Saga and Cross. Guys, have you noticed that Liko Rose just keeps on nominating Cross for some weird reason? I am beginning to feel like this thing about her always nominating Cross, I feel like it has gone beyond her thinking that Cross is very, very strong outside the house. Because guys, even when she had the power to save and replace two weeks ago during her head of house tenure, she wasted no time in saving peace and replacing peace with cross and now again she's nominating him again i mean guys if you have any idea of what is running through her mind or what you think her strategy is with regards to cross please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below because guys i just feel like sometimes these housemates they waste their nominations like woefully they waste their nominations and it's really sad to see now white money nominated saga and sasuke for, for white money it's quite interesting how he doesn't even really think of putting up Pere for nomination. I think he has only put up Pere once. And guys, I wonder why. Anyways, let's continue. Nini nominated Pere and J. Paul. Um, J. Paul nominated Nini <laughs> and Pere. You see, this to me, post one was quite hilarious because it was as though they saw each other in their dream. It was as though they had, you know, subconsciously communicated to each other, like, you, you're my sworn enemy, I'm going to nominate you today. Jackie B nominated Pere and Saga. 
Sasuke nominated White Money and Likorus. Yusef nominated Emmanuel and Queen. Guys, to be quite frank with you, if there is one housemate that I feel has been going on about her nominations very, very strategically, I'll give it up to Sasuke. Mm. From week one, for every given opportunity that these housemates have, you know, to execute their nomination rights or privileges, it's quite interesting how accurate Sasuke carries out her nominations. The first time she nominated, she nominated White Money, and I was quite impressed because that was the early times of the week. And I was wondering, like, wow, girl, you saw through all of this. You saw it that this guy is possibly a threat to you, a competition to your game. And guys, this week again, she's nominating White Money, and I'm like, okay, I'm quite impressed that she's able to see that, okay, this guy is actually a strong opponent in the game. For possible eviction on Sunday. As we all know, if a housemate's name is mentioned twice, that housemate is automatically up for nominations for possible eviction. And guys, tonight, tonight was quite unusual because normally we have like six people up for nomination, but tonight there are more than six. So I'm just going to call out the names of those who have been called out or who were initially called out by Big Brother as being up for nominations of possible eviction. So we had Pere. Pere's name was mentioned four times. We had Saga. Saga's name was mentioned five times. We had J. Paul. J. Paul's name was mentioned twice. Jackie B. mentioned twice. Um, White Money mentioned twice. Emmanuel mentioned twice. Um, Nico Rose mentioned twice. And Sasuke mentioned twice. Um, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in number in total. Now, as is the tradition, Big Brother mentioned all the names of the eight nominated housemates and then he informed them that of all of them standing in tonight's Head of House Challenge, any of them just might have that chance to rewrite destiny. Biggie introduced a new twist to the Head of House games. Guys, unexpectedly, the housemates were automatically catapulted back to their initial die-throwing mat pad style of playing the Head of House games, which is quite disappointing for most of the housemates because they were actually hoping that it would be something easier, an easier obstacle that they could all scale through. But guys, Biggie took them all the way back to that initial style, and this time around with so many crazy and wild obstacles but that was not even the crazy part of it this twist says that whoever emerges at the, as the head of house automatically of course gains immunity as usual of course the person is also going to have um 250 abeg naira 200 bb tokens however the winner of the head of house challenge will not have possession of the veto power instead it will be the person that comes second so whoever comes second automatically also gains immunity and will also have possession of the veto power now that person will be the one that has the autonomy to save and replace guys quite unexpectedly emmanuel emerged the head of house for this week with a whooping 26 points it was supposed to be 28 but he did not finish his obstacle and so big brother deducted two points from his 28 points down to 26 and guys overly overly shocking <laughs> emerged the second runner up with a point of 15 and guys you know what that means automatically he became the veto power holder guys another dramatic thing happened now i have explained before that according to big brother's new twist the veto holder or the veto power holder is supposed to save and replace now remember emmanuel who was already up for nomination for possible eviction already gained immunity by virtue of his new um, role as head of house for the week Pere as well is also up for nominations and so Pere just as expected saved himself and replaced himself with Queen because Queen was not up for eviction <laughs> For real guys, if looks could kill, Queen's looks, her eyes would have just daggered Pere on the spot. Because it was just very obvious that Pere literally wants Queen and White Money out of the house. But guys, the question is, do you think Queen will be evicted this week? Do you think so? Because she seems to be a very, very strong contender in the house. So guys, let me know in the comment section below. And then moving on, Big Brother asked Emmanuel to choose his deputy and of course, just as expected, once again, he went for Likoros and Likoros, of course, accepted. But then the question is, these two people are going to have their privacy in the head of house lounge. Guys, do you think that all this 
public show of fake affections or fake love or fake intimacy is going to become real once they are in the head of house lounge together away from the prying eyes of the rest of the housemates guys please let me know in the comment section below and i will see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah have an amazing evening bye <laughs>